Only one kid in history had ever attempted what Benny was about to. And he got eaten. So we were worried. Real worried. Even when Benny brought out the secret weapon. Shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. PF Flyers. everybody welcome back to the slate lace podcast what's up happy hump day happy wednesday we are here to get you through the week uh as you can see it's quite a packed episode it's, today it, it looks um, like moving day almost with all the boxes yeah and just so you know this is mostly Vinny stuff so <laughs> don't even try to put it on me it's um, more on Vinny. uh i mean you have a box over there too I, so i, I mean box. i mean you're contributing to the clutter you guys see here? Uh, I mean, this doesn't look like clutter to me. I see a lot of organization. Um, they're in the bags. The bottoms are clean. The boxes are dusty, but, I mean, that tells you a lot there. But It tells you that you got a whole dungeon full of some sneakers, and they're all organized in these nice little dandy containers. You know, just you know, trying to. just coming out just, of this raggedy box. Yeah, know? we'll see. Mine is packed for longevity. Yours is just, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For the unforeseen Some of us don't future, take it. <laughs> you know. Some of us don't take it the storage as serious as others, but as long as it looks yep. nice in yep. my closet, I'm good to go. Yeah. Um, but anyways, guys, we want to start off uh, this sneaker episode with uh, some news. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of you guys are watching the Last Dance uh, Michael Jordan documentary. Um, mm -hmm. we're Some may have seen it already. We're a little yeah, behind. Yeah, we're, we're so. behind. We're for sure behind. Um, you've definitely seen it. Um, but I just finished it, and you still got a couple episodes yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I'm like on seven or eight or something like that. Okay, so you got it like two to three more. Yeah. Um, with that said, though, we both seen episode five. Mm -hmm. You guys have probably seen episode five, but we wanted to touch on that real quick since we are a sneaker podcast. Mm hmm. Um, episode five kind of gives us the history behind uh, MJ signing with Nike, mm -hmm. and then you know the rest becomes history. Uh, but what I liked was that his agent at the time wanted to promote him mm -hmm. not as like as an individual star, as mm -hmm. an individual commodity, rather than like this team kind of guy, or mm -hmm. you know. And that was only seen with uh, like individual stars like tennis players and stuff like that so yeah, it was kind of golfers yeah, yeah it was kind of out, outside the norm for a basketball player to have their own sneaker and be marketed right. as their own brand right. um which today it doesn't seem like that because we got lebrons we got mm -hmm. kobe's mm -hmm. um you know football players obj all these kind of people he kind of paved the way and the only yeah. people that were doing it at the time was converse yeah the same with magic and yeah. bird and them, them shoes ain't even heat. Yeah, so. the, what were they called? The Converse? Uh, uh, weapons. Yeah, the weapons. The weapons was heat. So, yeah, um, that was the popular shoe at the time, like Vintage was saying, the uh, the Converse weapons. And they were the official sponsor of Nike. Or, I mean, of the NBA. Sorry about mm -hmm. that. Which mm -hmm. is now Nike and was Adidas for several, several years. Right. Uh, but that's what Adidas. I'm saying. That's why that one, two, three. I mean, Converse is still in that conversation yep. just because of so many years. Yep. Um, so what the funny thing was to me was that Jordan actually wanted to be with Adidas. Adidas was his shoe yeah. of choice. Man. Could you imagine how much Adidas would be no. selling out if, no, I can't, if I Adidas can't imagine. had the, the Air Jordan? Well, the thing is, is that Tinker would have to be working for Adidas for me to even see it. Yeah, because he designed it in that all same, those. Yeah. same capacity, because that yeah. man, that, that. If I you guys mean, don't know Tinker, he's the, the genius behind man, what, the Air heaters. Jordan. Uh, from the heaters. three on, right? He didn't do the one and two. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't think know. he did the he one and two. He may not have, but he, he definitely did. did. Yeah, he from, definitely did three, and that's why yeah. for me it's one's a straight. Trust me, but that's why it yeah. starts at three. But anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he did those. Uh, Tinker would have to be working with Adidas or something. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the but only way. They're both stationed in Portland, so I yeah. mean, the campuses. I've been to both campuses, and they're like pretty close together. So. Um, in my mind, it's crazy to think about that if if Mike went to that to that team i mean it's just like could you imagine if mike got drafted by any other team yeah you know uh if the lakers never had magic johnson and things like that so it's like of course there's so many type of things where the world would just be i mean just who completely knows different yeah um though i mean we wouldn't be wearing mm -hmm. nikes the way we wear nikes now i'm a vintage nike guy so i'm still trying to rock rock runners period you yeah. know what i mean um 
But now you'd be on shelf toes. But my, no, <laughs> don't don't <laughs> Those disrespect would be the ones me that like we'd that. Be wrapping around the store for some Don't shelter. disrespect me like Jordan. that. You know, I'm not a. Anyways, so, uh, it, you, you know, I mean, that's really all Nike would have though. Yeah. Because because their next biggest thing would have been LeBron. Yeah. So it's like. Uh, who would their star be if if Jordan got snatched up and Jordan got signed for a budget deal? Obviously, con, con, you know, considering what he became, but yeah. obviously he made his money. But um, who would be the who would be the star that they would sign and get signature shoes from? What like Vince Carter? Probably something like that. T Mac did T Mac go? To, no, T Mac. No, T Mac was Adidas. Adidas. But my yeah. thing is, is like who. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who who gets that line of a bunch of shoes that eventually paves the way? Because obviously, if Mike goes to Adidas, yeah. then that means that opens the door for somebody else. But again, you gotta have the sports um, agent to make that happen yeah. for you. I want this dude to be my agent because yeah, he fought he, for him. He fought, and then he also had like a vision. But he that's what I'm saying. That's why you need that agent yeah. because it, so he I had that him. happen for him. But a lot of a lot of uh, sports players have agents but they don't have agents to that degree but it also helped that mike was amazing yeah because of course if you're not amazing at what you do um it's you're a little more challenging to not have shoot. right 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 yeah, so but, but i mean it would be curious to see who would have took it because if that gap was that empty in between signing lebron then man yeah nike would not i mean they'd be like number four on the list for sure they wouldn't be what they is today that's for but sure. i'd still love nikes because yeah. i don't got a single jordan here today I might. We'll say that for a second. <laughs> um, but anyways, just to go back to it real quick, um, he ended up uh, creating the Jordan 1, mm -hmm. which you see right there. Mm -hmm. um, and the phrase Air Jordan was coined mm -hmm. um, with their marketing, and that shoe went on to sell $126 million, and they had a goal of they just wanted to sell $3 million that year, and they ended up selling $126 million. Yeah. So that yeah. just set the tone for what they are yeah. today. Yeah. I mean, this man is still making money off Jordan 1s, yeah. and Jordan 1 is easily almost the, everyone's favorite. I mean, everybody <laughs> loves the Jordan 1. Yeah, yeah, it's not necessarily do. our favorites. Uh, but, but, I mean, it, you, people, you for sure can Jordan argue Jordan 1 it. is the, the most popular one yeah, by it, a large margin. It's, it's probably the quintessential uh, shoe, just like, ur I guess, urban shoe, you yeah. know? Yeah. You think Jordan won, I guess. Unfor you know, unfortunately, you do think Shell Toe, but um, Jordan won is before any yeah. any shoe for sure. So I, 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 you can't, you know, you can't knock that. It exceeded expectations mm -hmm. and literally continues to exceed expectations yeah. today. Um, with that said, on the topic of Jordan, um, mm -hmm. I got a little unboxing. Uh, well, first, let me point out that today's episode is sponsored by. Nike all conditions gear. We both got on the ACG. ACG. Well, I got something on the back Check though. It. Oh, yours is a little different. You, you Let me don't see. got nothing on the back. No, mine's blank. But you see, he got the he got one up on me. He got a better one. Yeah. That nice big logo yeah. on the back. Uh, all conditions gear. ACG Nike. If y'all want to send us some stuff, shout out ACG. Please do now. I am Team ACG. I got a gang of ACG stuff. I need to get yeah. more of the Mountain Man. ACG gear. I like yeah, that. Yeah, you were little... showing me that. It, yeah. It's tough. It's yeah, tough. I like that. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're big fans. I like those. I like the shoes. As you guys know, I unboxed the uh, mm -hmm. Mountain Dog uh, a little bit later, earlier in the podcast. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we're big fans. But on the subject of Nike, I got a quick unboxing. Uh, I went bargain shopping. Shout out to uh, Equivalents in Encino, California. For helping me get these. So that's what we saw on the um, yeah, story. Yeah, so on the story a couple days ago, I was like, y'all think I'm a cop? And y'all voted no, right? Somebody, de de people definitely said no, because it was 100% no. Look, so. I'm crazy, and I still <laughs> am copping at every time, at any possibility that I can. Um, but anyways, I got the Jordan 1 mids. So on the subject of Jordan, it's the perfect segue uh, into my kick of the day. Um, these are worn, so they aren't brand spanking new. Um, that's why I got them for a bargain. So there was 80 bucks. They were 80 bucks. I mean, um, but you do you. I like the colorway. You do you. Why are you saying that? You do you. You wouldn't buy used. Once somebody's foot goes in it, I'm not interested. Only brand new for you. Look, it was a steal. I like the aqua on purple. You know, purple's my color. As I say, like almost every episode, I'm a cop. 
I feel good about them. Uh, I was going to rock them for, what, 4th of July? Mm-hmm. But I changed up the fit, so. Oh, you was heated 4th of July, though. You know how I come, y'all? I Dang, had to I need on. them shoes. I had the dots on. I'll, Man, I'll bring it on for a chicken ne- today. I though. ain't seen those before, but someone need to let me hold those. <laughs> yeah. those. Those are tough. Dots. I still be thinking about those. Yep. You stay laced if you think about them. I'm, <laughs> I'm not you. late. I'm not late. I just I hadn't seen them before, and they tough. I'm like, dang. Yeah. So definitely had, need that. I'll bring them on for kicking a day for y'all. But um, for right now, I'm going with these, the Air Jordan 1 mids. I kind of like the mids better uh, as far instead of the uh, OG high tops. Mm-hmm. Um, and the lows, is, the lows are, eh, they remind me of like, more like dunks. So I try mm-hmm. to stay away from the lows. Yeah. Um, but have you noticed with the mids, like, do they fit? Like, do they run small? Because these are 11s. Um, and, I've never worn any Air Jordan still... 1 mids. Do you have highs? Yeah. And are they a little small? They run a little small? Um, no, no, no. They ride on, they ride on time. Yeah. I would say. Well, well, I mean, for me in general, Nikes run small. So I'm Maybe always like probably about then. a half size up anyway. Yeah, because uh, these are size up and they still like, I was like, oh, dang. Mm-hmm. I can still yeah, rock no, they these. snug. They snug. Um, so you know, jo- Nike size up a little bit, mm-hmm. maybe a half size. Mm-hmm. Hot tip for you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's my kick of the day. Uh, Blair's about to get into all his stuff, and he's gonna give us the background on why he's got all this out here. But all this is his kick of the day here on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, basically, um, I'm about to go camping. Um, Where not going? this week. But next week, uh, and I'll be gone basically the whole week, but I will be going to Utah. I have okay. never been, so I'm excited for that. But uh, I'm going to one of the national parks out there. Um, you know, I mean, just with the birthday coming up, I'm trying to I'm trying to do something rather than just being, like, cooped up. Yeah, you want to get out in the outdoors, you know. You know what I mean? And, and just do something. And that was, like, one of the things that I did always want to do that we didn't necessarily do too much growing up. Um, we were always involved in sports and stuff, and yeah, so leisure was never <laughs> necessarily one of the things that we did. Yeah, we didn't take too many trips. No. Um, so it was just like now with the opportunities, uh, I'm trying to make good on those and, and, and do those and, you know, try to have fun and just do different things. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be headed to Utah, but, I mean, Big nothing Utah. changes about how I get down and how I move. So I wear heat. If I'm going to the store, I wear heat. If I'm going to church, I wear heat. If I'm going to the moon, so that means I'm going to wear heat if I'm going camping. So ACG is big Mm -hmm. on the all conditions gear, right? So that means that they got, (laughs) let them know, you know, Um, that means that there's stuff for hiking. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's rain, perfect for rain, sleet, snow. you know, all of that. Now, some of the 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 like suede and stuff like that may not be waterproof, but there is yeah. some that are. Um, we're gonna have to go and put the picture up. Uh, I had copped some sandals the other day, and I know she wants to flame me for wearing sandals, but the only reason I'm wearing these sandals is because they're waterproof. ACG. You don't have them? No, nah, they're not here yet. Oh, you bought them online. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, they yeah, in the yeah, mail. Yeah. They in so the mail. So they'll be here that. by the time I'm going camping. You want to unbox yeah, it? So you want to say, yeah. all right, so there will be no image yet. We're going to save it for But uh, we'll save it. But it's dope because it has just like one of the shoes that I'm going to show on the bottom. It has the multicolor thing going, the 90s okay. type color. Um, but that shoe is specific for water. But again, it's ACG, so you can wear it anywhere. You might yeah, you can you just, might rock, it just with, rock it out. Yeah. But I'm just not That's a how sandal. I'm try to do. But I'm a sandal guy. I'm not a sandal yeah. guy, so I won't be doing that. If if I go to more national parks, which I do plan to, then I'll wear them there. But. I think I I'm just, just going to be... Yeah, that's how I... That's how I all right, Mr. Fur uh, Birkenstock. Excluding those. Excluding those. He's going to be a sandal heat. guy then when he get those. Those are heat, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get started yeah. on what we got here. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, but I'm going to start with the Adidas one because I brought one of those. I'm just going to show it real quick, not say much about it because this is... You know, I'm. Uh, you know, he we Nike doing, gang we doing, we doing Nike. You know what I mean. So gang. I don't want to spend too much time on it. But you know, um, I'll, I'll mess with Adidas any day. So. So I've actually wore this before, despite like how it was black, but how crispy and fresh out the box Dang. these look. Um, I haven't wore these. Oh man, I want to say 
probably in like two years. When did you um, get them? I got them about three years ago. Okay. The last time I wore these, um, excuse me, was uh, December. That December, um, December 2018 was the last time I, I had these on. Uh, I was in San Francisco visiting the homies. Um, yeah, they clean, but we ain't even going to do too much uh, with them. We're not even going to talk too much about them. Um, I do like, obviously. It fit, it's got a little sock you know, liner. It's, it's got the sock, the sock liner. liner. And it looks like it's going to be real nice and snug on your ankle. Yeah, it like, is. These is tough. And then they got that cleat kind of bottom. Man, it, they're sturdy because I yeah. wore these in the rain. You're not slipping with these. This wore is those like, in the, yeah. This looks like a cleat. It looks like a, yeah, like literally a football cleat. But mm -hmm. these is tough with the colors too, mm -hmm. that black and then the obviously the pink and the mm -hmm. orange. I this mean, is hard, yeah. man. I, I wore those, you know, like I said, in rain, was solid, yeah. you know, it was, it was clean. But these will not be coming with me. They're not coming to Utah? They didn't those make the Utah not, cut? Those, those did they didn't make the Utah they cut. They did not make the Utah cut. Not the, oh, the roster. They didn't make the Utah They're roster. They're not on the roster. But now let's get underway. Okay, now OGs, I'm you know how we do. Now he's all hyped. You know. Don't disrespect Adidas, though. No, 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 no. Don't no. disrespect Adidas. I wore Adidas those. Not, yeah. I wore those. But but no, too, every shoe that I'm about to pull out, I have worn as well. Oh, I seen these. I wanted these. Yeah, you know. You oh, know. This, is, this is tough. This is actually one of my favorites. This yeah. is one of my favorites in my collection. This because is tough. go ahead and touch that. This is tough. Dang, yeah. that's the real sway yeah. sway. That's sway sway. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, bottoms, brand new, right? But no, I, I wear saw, them. I saw these. I wanted these. But I wear these because I love them. Um, I love the multicolors. Expect to see those on the sandals when I bring them on. That purple with that gray and the yellow shoe. Yeah. He's got the just, little form fitter in there still. You know, yeah, well, you know, I got to keep it together. Keep it too But far. um, this is, again, this is, man, you can wear this anytime, anywhere. Um, This might be one of the ones that come camping with me. I'm honestly probably only going to take a couple pairs just because uh, I'm going to be doing some, like, backpacking and, you know, I got enough weight on my back. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm, I'm not too worried because when you go camping, you know, you're supposed to get dirty. Yeah. You know? It's, it's, and that's what this shoe is built for. So my yeah, thing it's is. Yeah, it's going to get a little scuffed, like, but it's cool. It's all good because yeah. at the end of the day. That's why you got it. You know, and I got shoe cleaner, but it's all good, I guess. I mean, when I get back, obviously, I'm going to spend some time really cleaning them up. Cleaning well, talk about this bottom, the Moab, Air Moab. That's it's solid. Dope. I mean, doesn't it remind you of just the 90s yeah, um, like advertising and just color school, font? Like white man can jump, old school kind All of, of advertising with that yeah. purple and then kind of the uh, orange. It's beautiful. That pop of orange making everything pop. But yeah, I wanted these, man. This is dope for sure. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice shoe. It's a I, solid I shoe. actually fell in love with this shoe. Because um, Hirachi's is one of my favorites just in general. Yeah, I was going to say, it's got Hirachi you know. vibes. Um, so the thing is, is that... Oh, but wait, yeah, they got to... Hopefully they're watching the other episodes when you talked about your Scream Green uh, Hirachi's mm -hmm. that you love. So. Mm -hmm. so much, so very dearly. But the thing is, is that the next shoe that I pull out is similar to this one. And I liked that one before... Just because I don't even know. I felt like I had to or something. But after, like, I kind of got my hands on these ones and was filling them up, you know, and staring at the old ads and stuff, I was like, nah, these are the ones. Like, I love the these pair? ones. Yeah, I this love I love okay. these ones, though, more than yeah. the next pair I'm oh, going to pull oh, okay. out. See, but the thing is. But you is also that see the sock liner again. It's going to hug that ankle. That's good. Hugging the That's ankle. Quality right there. Karachi gang. Oh. Falling out some more heat. So yeah. this is just a different, it looks like so far just a it's different the, colorway. This is the same shoe, but a different colorway. That's really all it is. Ooh, I'm kind of feeling this colorway too, though. Yeah, so again, I mean, if this don't feel like hiking to you, then I don't know what, what does because it's like, first of all, touch this. It's got that smooth leather. Smooth leather. You know, no, this is this is the one you should rock on the like really rough hiking days because mm -hmm. it's gonna just whisk, mm -hmm. whisk right off. 
but this is i mean these these match the trail grounds and things like that you know this feels like earth well both of them feel like earth tones you know this yeah. is obviously the darker earth tones this is the lighter you know maybe kanye was sitting at home when he was working right. on the seven hang on hang on this guy yeah. when he was sitting at home working on the 700 designs because when he did the 700 designs a lot of the things that he did were earth tones and all i'm saying is is you know similarities i get you yeah but anyways so um i mean like even look at the the spackle and stuff it yeah. just feels like that's that's, that's cement tough, almost man. you know but that's them playing with the it doesn't matter where you wear this yeah cement i'll be rocking these just mountains with some jeans some jeans some yeah. shorts some basketball shorts i'll yeah. be rocking these this is tough man. yeah those are dope yeah nah they're they're they're, they're fire they really are um, yeah i don't know which color i'm thinking this colorway just because i like the more the purple and the dark yeah, I told but you. this colorway is still tough though it grew on i mean this grew on me in a major way and it's just major like, way <laughs> definitely one of my favorites easy yeah, easy call with that one that's tough too all right what else you got what do you got in these bad boxer treats yeah, here let's get these bad boys out of here yeah. too nice yeah man um and then so now for a fact one of the, the one that i'm gonna pull out uh i'm guaranteed i'm taking these with me so these okay, are the wait, Nike. Did they, those two those last two made the roster right they may not make the roster what why not? i am still putting everything together but this shoe is guaranteed to make the roster not because the shoe is better I don't think it's even close to being better, mm -hmm. but I do like this shoe, but this is more of like, man, you got to wear this on the trail. This okay. just makes more sense. When you see shoes like that, they are meant to be worn yeah. and they're meant to be worn when you hike. Yes, but the shoe is so iconic in my eyes that it's almost like. You can't wear these when yeah, you hike. Yeah, he's just trying not to scuff them up and trying not to get them dirty. You can't wear you. these when you near the water and stuff like that. And the thing is, is that, again, I know that I can clean them and get them back to looking just like that. But it's just like, if I have another shoe that's even more rugged, why don't I just go exactly, with that? Exactly, exactly. I see what you're saying. And so we got the that. Nike Air Hamara. Okay, plug it. You um, seem like this is going these, off-roading. These re-released again in 2017 and i think we got supreme to thank for that because supreme went and did a few collabs on this shoe yes yeah uh -oh. so, so i know that supreme one sold out you, yeah <laughs> um <laughs> anything supreme gone. but i mean look at the bottom it even says trail i mean it's just that's what it's built for look at look at this yeah so that's why i was just like rugged gotta do it and this shoe i've worn quite a few times really as well. it looks it looks stiff and brand new like it don't look worn thank you i do appreciate <laughs> that that is a that you. is a compliment uh -huh. you know what i mean but yeah this what's one this? is what's this material? like look you can even feel the like yeah look at this it. is like the outsole is like surprisingly like squishy like it looks mm -hmm. like it's gonna you it's know it's gonna be responsive fit. yeah it's mm -hmm. gonna be f form fitting as well and then like absorb some of that pressure like you mm -hmm. like you really mm -hmm. yeah you're supposed to be hitting the trails and these things yeah but the upper i mean i'm gonna be the, the most heated does, camper out there you feel yeah, me yeah just look like <laughs> it looks better than your standard runner <laughs> But yeah it it's just it's way better than the standard runner but that's that out this midsole right here is gonna be mm -hmm. is the one i can tell like mm -hmm. yeah that's gonna keep you keep you uh on the rock in line yeah mm -hmm. it's gonna keep me on the rock yeah you're not slipping in those that's a, that's a non-slip grip yeah, right there. yeah yeah might want to wear these to work right mm -hmm. but um so this is this is guaranteed gonna be on my feet when i hike more than once and if they get beat that is okay yeah. you know i've worn these uh i want to say probably like three times um every time i did wear them they were surprisingly comfortable in the sense of you know what you're wearing okay, okay. is it a yeezy boost comfort no but is it, it like you putting on a hiking shoe yeah this is as comfortable as it's gonna yeah. get you know and so um i do i do dig this shoe in a weird way right because it's like as good as a hiking shoe can get that's pretty solid yeah this ain't bad you yeah. know what i mean because like the the right because hiking shoes ain't really the most sexy thing that you see no they're not so you know 
So when uh, you see a pair, you gotta grab them. You gotta grab them. So you know you can expect me to be wearing this. I got a lot of ACG t-shirts and stuff to go with it. Um, one of my one of them went missing, so I'm gonna have to make that order today. Yeah. Oh, he's copping today. So they get here by the time I take off. You oh, know? so you're trying to have a Florida trip? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, because the, the new shirt, oh, you might as well unbox it here as well. Yeah. The new shirt. Is I'll unbox make that it here roster. too. Uh, I'm also going to try to take a lot of photos of me wearing all of this material yep. so that you guys can at least see how I put certain things together. I was Follow like, okay, us. you know, I'm rocking the ACG with this, you know, ACG that. Um, so it's it's going to be a it's going to be a Nike week. Yeah. I can't see myself really wearing anything other than the, you know, ACG when he go shirts. Nike and, shoes, and, and, he goes full stuff. Nike, you know. Yeah, else. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't I don't mix and match brands. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean unless the brand is not is not like a a, a competitor, yeah, right, yeah. right. So like I mean, of course I can wear Levi's with Nike, but yeah. but I'm not wearing Converse with Nike. Yeah. So that's really that. Uh oh, last but not least, drum Nike roll. Air Ooh. Terra. Again, as like you can that. see, for your Crisp. trail. Yeah, and Ooh. never been worn. Nah, they've been worn. You worn these? Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, I want to say twice now. Yeah, you can actually see. Worn. Look, look, look. You, you can see. It's a little baby scuff. Uh, yeah. You can see that I, 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 I wear my shoes, you know, when I get around to oh, it. Oh, this got a fat tongue on it, though. Mm hmm Okay. And it looks like it's kind of wider. Yeah. Like, you're going to have to really lace that up. Oh, I don't lace my shoes, Yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> you don't be choking the laces. No, I don't. If I was on a trail, though, I'd probably going to, you know, we'll I don't want to be slipping and falling off we'll these see. rocks. I mean, the shoes, my shoes fit me, so. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm not, I'm not too concerned. Um, this is I like the color on this. Yeah, I mean, you see, they even slid the air in there. The, mm -hmm. the, the yeah, visible the, air bubble. That they, the technology know? that they have on the Air Maxes, y'all, right yep, there, visible yep. air bubbles. Plug it, you know. Yep, but Tinker this, did that. He this it. is very close to the OG colorway. Um, I can't, man, it's been, it's been at least a year since I bought these shoes. Probably a little longer. I'm trying to remember the 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 minor differences. I believe it's the laces that are slightly off. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and it was one more thing, but I think it was like over here somewhere. But um, that was it. It was as close to the OG as it is out there. So I was like, well, you, I can't get the OG. I mean, I can get the OG, but then you got to remember, you know, what, like 95, 96, that shoe is probably not wearable right now. So it just wouldn't be smart to yeah, get it and you think I'm a rocket. The, you got to get that updated tech in there. You, you know? know, but I mean, yeah. So I got all of this Nike equipment to, to, to work with here. Yeah. Um, I'm super excited because I just get to get it out there, you know. And and use all of these things what they're exactly. meant to be used for. Yeah. So it's 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 a big deal, you know. Because yeah, usually you just rocking your shoe, you know, day to day, going yeah, to work, stri walking stri around. strictly leisure. Yeah, no leisure miles stuff. on it. But now yeah. you're about to really get put these to the test. So you got to let us know uh, how they hold up, mm -hmm. how they felt on the trails. Mm -hmm. You got to go exploring, and then especially the sandals. Yeah, the sandals are gonna be. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be curious in... to see how that's gonna work. Like you gonna rock socks with it? How, how's that gonna work? I can't. I can't. I'm, and I'm a sock guy. And if I'm wearing sandals, it's definitely socks and but sandals. But something's telling me with these sandals, it's gonna be weird if you wear the socks. Oh, I'm wearing socks, but but that's if that's if um I was like out here with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would obviously wild. wear socks because I would want to. I would put on black socks since the sandals are black. But um this shoe or this sandal. I'm gonna have to wear in water. I'm actually moving through water, so yeah. See, so I don't know what they look like yet, so I don't have a good, you know. It's idea open toed. What's... It is open toed. Okay. But what I okay. mean is, is like I have no choice. I can't wear a sock walking through water. No, yeah, because I don't have a waterproof purpose. sock. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah okay. I, I so mean, you gotta go no sock. Yet. Yeah, but I mean, by default, I ain't yeah. got a choice on that. Would I do it any other day? No, but I mean, it wouldn't be a smart decision. Yeah. 
if I didn't. So well, I'm excited to see the sandals. But yeah. it looks like you got so follow us on uh, Instagram, y'all at, at Slayley. So Go ahead and do that. You can see all the fits that you're gonna be putting together. Uh huh. And then um, we'll hop on for a quick unboxing of some mm-hmm. of the rest of the things you're gonna take. Mm uh-huh. Um. But yeah, I mean, other than that, what are we thinking about getting before we wrap? Um. Any, any upcoming cops? Man, I know, oh. I, know, I know where I'm going, but I don't go first. Go ahead. Um, I gotta put that. I gotta. I gotta put that video together of the um me going after the Nike. Oh yeah. Uh, Tell your story. The right Nike quick. Hippie O three. Oh. So so for me that high top heat. Um, and you know we haven't had any shoes on here lately. The last shoe I got has been embarrassingly long. So you know. <laughs> So so I tried to get on here for us but man the sneakers app is not fair sometimes it's just like man they don't really let you know anything so it ends up in a way being like a raffle so it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter what time you get there but I got there at 7 a.m. like I was supposed to I selected my size yeah you know, you select purchase just in case you get selected. And then you literally just sit there and wait. And then for me, it was like 25 minutes went by. And then they went ahead and didn't say anything, just said it was sold out. In times in the past, though, it'll be like, sorry, you you weren't selected. Um, but they didn't do that. Oh, so it was only available during raffle? You couldn't just buy it? No. I mean, you can now. You can go on StockX and pay yeah, yeah. for something for yeah. it. Oh, but it's only going for like four? I mean, that's bad, but... Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's bad, but I was expecting... Um, in my size, I think the last size sold was like 489 or something like that. Yeah, and is this made... Because uh, the advertising for that is this is trash. So is it made from like recyclable... Yeah, it's made from... from trash um, materials, yeah, and, compost and, or something? Yep, 45% of it. 45% of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's a... Uh, you know, on our last episode or a couple episodes ago, we talked about uh, kind of carbon... Yeah. Uh, I don't know the term, it's escaping me, but yeah, just like kind of being more eco-friendly in the mm-hmm. creation of the shoe bird process, or the shoe They've done that process. with some of their clothing too. And I guess Nike's hopping on that train then, because yeah. uh, that was Adidas and Allbirds teaming up to kind of do that eco-friendly shoe, and now, mm-hmm. you know, they're pr- producing this hippie one, which I guess is why the, na- the name came into play mm-hmm. with the whole hippie thing. Um, but yeah, they're, they're marketing as like, this is trash, and um if you're ever you know it's if really you're a sneakerhead you know mm-hmm. that but yeah you know the shoe is trash. cool i prefer the low top blur is the high top oh it's not even it's not even up for debate the the third one is the we best should put shoe. up a vote on the slay lace page you can but it's not even up for debate <laughs> yeah, that high top that. is fire Mm-mm. period i don't like it y'all uh get on slate lace follow us and then vote with us um but yeah, that that was cool. That shoe, I would get the low for sure, but I knew it was gonna go very quickly. Um, and then I'm definitely not gonna pay that resale price. I just can't do it right now. All right, so my next cop is dropping July 7th at 7 a.m. and it's the alternate grade fives. Mm. Um, so by the time you guys see this, I'll probably have taken the L. <laughs> what you think? Uh, Maybe I got not. It, Maybe I got not. it set up to notify me on sneakers on the sneaker app and everything like that. Um, it's dropping for one ninety. I kind of don't like that price point, but mm-hmm. I talked them to death. I gotta go after them. Yeah, you, know? you do gotta go after them. Um, I think that you have a shot. If, yeah, I, th- if it, I think I'm gonna get them. I think I'm pretty confident. I don't know. I mean, just go ahead, upload all your information to the sneakers app now. Set up yeah, the face I ID. Do that. You know, so then all you got to do is select your size, buy now, it'll do your face ID unlock, and boom. So then... <laughs> Look how prepared you got to be. This is wild. <laughs> this is a whole thing, you know, guys. Um, and then you just sit and wait a few minutes, and then they let you know if you got it or not. Okay. So. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to be wide awake right at that 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. It won't be long for you to take your L. So. Yeah, I'll know, and I'll let you guys know, um, and then hopefully we'll be doing a, a couple unboxings here in mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we, we got to do it. We haven't really brought in new, new ones. Yeah, I mean, we always got new shoes and stuff, but I mean, like, up-to-date shoes. Yeah, that's Something true. Something that came out, we went after, and we got it. It's yeah, been a minute. We, yeah, it's been a minute. But um, I did want to say, though, um, always remember... When you go hiking, camping, backpacking, whatever it is that you're doing, but when you're in the outdoors and you're out in the wild, you always need your essentials, you know? Now, your essentials 
for some people is a backpack, a tent, s'mores kit, um, camera, canteen of water, a compass. I don't know. For me, it's my Nike ACG. Oh, gosh. It's my Nike apparel. You heard it here first. From Vintage himself. Always keep that ACG on you. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are looking for sponsorship, so if y'all, <laughs> if y'all want to send us some gear, uh, go ahead and do that. You know, oh, you can hit us, hit us at our Gmail account. Um, you but, know where to find me. Exactly. <laughs> On that note, uh, we are going to wrap. Um, stay safe, wear a mask, and as always, like and subscribe. See you guys.